We are the champions, it says, but it's the Captain Marvel variant issue. That's what the cover looks like, y'all. Let's go to the tippy tippy tap to start the book. It is a roll call of everyone, and it's in order of importance. Viv Vision is ahead of Ironheart. Uh -uh. The greatest character in Car Marvel Comics history is below Viv Vision. No, not happening. And then Wasp is at the bottom. Wasp has got his own, her own series, and Snowguard doesn't. But that just shows you that's not an alphabetical order. Now, Sam Alexander doesn't get Nova. He just got his name, Sam Alexander. That's one of the legacy characters who, of all of these legacy characters, I would take, I would say keep Nova over Spider-Man and, and Brawn and Ironheart. Like, Ironheart can change her stuff. Give her, you know, there's a lot of normal human beings with suits. Just change it so it's not an Iron Man suit. Same with Wasp, I mean... Nova is kind of a cool legacy character, in my opinion. It starts off with Sam Alexander, and the goal of the book is for them to make a battery containment field. Look at this artwork, oh my god, oh my god. Beautiful job by Stephen Cummings, Dubai United Emirates, that's where this book takes place. And they got this electric shocking kind of, is his name Zap? His name is Zax, and he's got a pretty unique power. I like uh, that... Jim Zub knows his Ms. Marvel. Her weakness is electricity. It's explained a couple times in her Ms. Marvel run. And Carol tells him, "What's the? you should get some uh, lining that can absorb it and what are we friends with T Tony Stark for if we can't take advantage of him for things like that. So she hasn't done that yet, I guess. So maybe she'll get to, you know, she's got some smart people to ask about. Riri Williams can do it for her or, or Wasp. And Braun. Braun is still smart, he's just less strong. During the Zack's fight, Miles Morales saves a woman. She says, a thousand blessings to you, Mr. Spider. That's how they talk in UAE, okay? Now, the villain wins. Like, the villain actually shoots at them. It's really scary. Like, it gets dark. And uh, Jim Zub joins Comics Gate because Ms. Marvel's dead. <laughs> that sound means that one of my trailer reactions is up, and you need to watch it. I'll put a link at the end of the video. Now, with, um, with what happens... This is why Mephisto was involved. I'll show you the picture of what happened during the last issue. He spoke to Miles Morales. Did you get what you wanted? Uh, you should be happy right now. This is why. So Mephisto brings them um, a proposition to Braun and Miles Morales. We can re I can rewind time. You know, I'm unpredictable. I don't even have a reason for doing it. It's not even a deal with the devil. I don't want nothing in return. I'm just going to go ahead and rewind time. Miles Morales says, Do it. it. They rewind time for Braun to get the battery containment field set up and fixed in time and he does it and they save the day almost this picture here now i can see why miles morales was so upset at the end of champions number one 28 it's like this optimistic ms marvel we did it and he's just like you fucking no we did not do it we did and i can relate to that because you know everyone knows that happy-go-lucky do-gooder kind of cheerful that's what ms Mar ms marvel kamala khan is She's the worst. And the final page of the book has, I won't show you, I will show you. See those men prostrating to Ms. Marvel and the heroes, thank you champions. That's not something that would be done. If these guys are Muslim, I know it's Dubai, it could be anyone from anywhere, but that's not a, that's like the worst sin in Islam to associate worship with anyone other than Allah. Part two of the final page, that's what the champions do and you can see all the wreckage. And man, your heart breaks. There's a reason why I mentioned that girl that Miles Morales saves. Well, in the alternate universe that Mephisto creates when he rewinds time, he doesn't save her. That got me. That was like, this was a great book. And then it just went another level. Jim Zub's making us feel those feelings. Jim Zub did a good job here. I know I just complained about the whole prostrating thing, but he's, that's not his character. He's not looking to bring down Islam or, or religions and stuff in his comic books. I think in, during the Snow Guard, um, inception of it he involved someone from the native community who actually wrote the champions annual so he's not looking for any i'm not even i'm just calling out a flaw in the book for the sake of criticism i want to give this book a nine out of ten it came out the same week as uncanny x-men and there's no way as great as stephen cummings was and jim sub were there's no way i'm giving that this book a 10 on a week that i saw a 10. you want to see a comic book review well i said i would suggest this video here. This is the Shafts trailer that I did earlier. And who says I can't point at two videos?
go look at my own canny X-Men. It's a long one. It's a doozy. That's what she said, that it was a long one. And she said it was a doozy, too. Because your boy Chillmonger. I don't have an outro. <laughs>